Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard um, from Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. Today we have a video, a video, um, and we're doing a sew along, a sew along where Gigi Bai will be leading us through Jen Kingwell's The Gypsy Wife Quilt, which is awesome. Um, so these are videos that Gigi will produce um, and help us understand how to do it. And Corey Dutton, um, a law student, is going to learn to quilt. So um, it's for beginners, advanced people, even law students. Um, and it will be great. So uh, I hope this helps. So where do you find the pattern? Um, Jen Kinkwell's pattern can be found at Amazon. It's again called the Gypsy Wife Quilt. It's super popular. You can also get it at Uptown Needle and Craftworks here in New Orleans. Just um, look them up online and call them or at any quilt shop. So get the pattern and join us. Hi, we have two more squares to, uh, blocks to do for section five, seven, six. What am I even on? Five. Sorry about that. Um, and we're going to be making a pinwheel that's bordered. And if you did it um, with the... Um, the half square triangles for your half square triangle block and you should have some left over so that's what I'm using to sew together and you can see up this one for some reason they look like they're a different color but they're all the same fabric it just looks different let's see if I turn it like this that they look more the same so I'll sew this together these two together and then I'll sew these two together and then I'll sew them together in the center and then I have my pieces of cut already to do my border around the edges um, and so we'll work on that right now so I'm going to place this one on top of the other just like this with a quarter inch seam so along here and I for these half square triangles I've been taking the paper out since it's not a piece um, like crazy and it's going to be in just a little while probably make all of us crazy but you know we live through some other purging and such, and we lived through all that. Just so that you know, I used to always think if something were to happen, I just left my iron on, if the house would have caught on fire, all of these blocks is what I save now. Not my baby pictures, not the baby books, no, 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 no. All of these blocks that we'll be marking on. So that's how important they are to me now. But I get back to what I'm talking about. So on here, you still have your paper, and it should just, like, it's kind of getting perforated and it just peels right on off and so you can put them together and it's just not quite so thick when you're paper piecing um, other pieces that are much more intricate and have lots more pieces you want to keep it on there until you get it into your um, block uh, your block into the quilt but for here we're going to just I have to put it back together now um, we're going to just go ahead and take the paper off and go from there. I think that's right. There we go. So we have a pinwheel and we have our borders and we'll put it all together. We've done this one before, I think in our very first section, so it shouldn't be anything too terribly new. Okay, so I have my two pieces sewn together and I've pressed one seam going one way and one seam going the other way so that when I lay one on top of the other, I can nestle them together and it's really thick so I really want to be careful to get those nestled right next to each other this is the kind of tough part about the pinwheels is um, you want the points of your triangles to meet so that when you sew I'm going to move that pin, when you sew and open it back up you want them to meet and you don't want to cut off your points so it's real important to get that nestled in there just so and to really follow the quarter and inch seam allowance um, so you don't go too far and then your pinwheel points are blunt and not pointy. I've had those before. It's not the end of the world but if you can avoid it it's nice to have it if it doesn't happen. Okay so we finished the pinwheel square not square and square, sorry, um, bordered, the bordered pinwheel. I just wanted to point out that in the back, when I sew the two pieces together, well, the two halves together to make the pinwheel, I sometimes open that seam up and iron it open because when you fold it over, it's really thick to sew through. And later when we're quilting this, we don't want to have a big blob right there of that seam. 
So this is done. And now I might go get another cup of coffee before we start crazy again because I have a feeling, even though it's paper pieced, she's going to make us a little crazy. So I'll be back. This is Elizabeth Townsend Guard from Just Wanna Quilt. You've been listening to Gigi Bai take us through an aspect of the Gypsy Wife Quilt by Jen Kingwell. Make sure you get the pattern. You can get the pattern at Amazon or Uptown Needle and Craft Works here in New Orleans or at your local quilt shop. Um, you need the pattern to be able to understand what's going on. And then um, Gigi helps us through it. So join us. Come play with us. Come to our Facebook group, Just Want a Quilt. Uh, go to our website and be part of our newsletter where we'll help you through the Gypsy Wife Quilt. Um, that's just want a quilt.com spelled W A N N A. Just want a quilt. Um, and of course, listen to our podcast. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker. And if you can't a chance to like it on those, it would be super awesome. <laughs>